a reminder, we're in group two. We're working for Pradera on a vaccination. This will allow both pet sitters and people looking for pet sitters to interact and find each other uh, and basically direct transaction of business. So we're gonna start off, we have our original iteration zero, which is what we worked on about two weeks ago. Um, we had a, some a task we had to do. We basically had a technology stack we had to work from. We had a bunch of different um, tools we're using. Uh, we included, we're using, let's, let's see, uh, we got JUnit for our unit testing. We got Maven, uh, which is gonna be our Java build tool. Obviously we are working in Java. We are also using Spring Boot as our uh, web application framework. Uh, Jacoco, which was our code coverage tool. And am I missing anything? I think that's it. Um, so we're also going to be start using um, Jenkins as well for some of our continuous integration. So we're constantly working with Pradera through their uh, Slack application that we're basically talking to them and uh, they're helping us out and giving us things to do. And so far we've made all of our deadlines and we're on our on our target for their uh, iterations, which are a slightly different schedule than uh, the ones for the class. So first we're gonna show you some of our project, or the progress that we've actually made. We've got a login screen. Our original iteration zero was basically the idea was set up the framework, set up all, get everyone to set up the same IDE and all the build tools and our technology stack, get that done uh, so we can move on to actually putting down the foundation for our project. So right now, what we've got is we've actually got a working login screen that runs basically from a MongoDB Atlas um, temporary server. Pradera is working on setting up a permanent server we can use throughout the semester. Um, but for now we have the, tech, the, the temporary one. And this temporary one, we were able to create a database in MongoDB that has some uh, dummy data that we've basically used. Um, and we've also set up the actual login process with a little bit of a UI there in the HTML. So this is a temporary what it's gonna about what's gonna look like. Um, you can actually use uh, we've got a one set up so you can actually log in with your username and password um, and actually get into our database. Yeah. So this is our this is the UI we've actually created in our UI team. So the UI team wanted to talk about uh, how they did with work with Credera and went back and forth and made a UI. Yeah. So the, the previous slide you saw was our interpretation of this. So originally, we'll go back to the last one. Our first <coughs> task was to create the user experience. So like UI slash UX. So the first part was to design what the final product's gonna look like. And, and Colin and I did this in Adobe XD. And then if you go back to the other one. And our next task is to interpret this <coughs> as HTML. And right now, this is plain HTML with regular styling, where the next step is uh, we're building this with React components. Iteration zero was spent um, figuring out themes with colors and our overall um, approach with just the feel that the site will bring. If you click the other one. Um, we did, as Grant said, use Adobe XD to get an idea of how we're going to approach it. Uh, we made a simple <coughs> HTML doc just to go over, try to transition it because Adobe XD doesn't give you an opportunity to uh, convert code. Um, so now, now that we have a feel for it, we're converting over to React Bootstrap, and it will make things flow a lot easier. And Will, on you. Did you want to show the uh, actual data is logging in, right? Uh, no, that's okay. The, uh, okay, so for continuous integration, Alex did a lot of work on that. We're, we had to set up a lot this uh, for iteration zero and uh, part of iteration one. We did a lot of setting up, so I believe uh, we had to set up our Maven and our JUnit testing. We also got on the last minute, we, we were talking to our the professor and we actually had to change, I think based on Pradera's request, change it to Coco as a code coverage tool. Uh, so it took a lot of our time out, was trying to get the continuing integration actually set up and on the right path. <coughs> All right, so this is the UML for our actual database architecture that we're using. Uh, right, this could obviously be subject to change, but we're using this as a, basically as a blueprint to move forward. And our database right now is set up so that we can actually, we have all this, we have dummy data basically in it that has this sort of uh, framework. A 
Okay, this is our Mongo Atlas, and basically this is our uh, actual, what we have so, so far in our actual database. This, okay, this is this, whenever we actually all got together in a meeting and actually all had the Atlas server up and actually we all have our own usernames and passwords, we all logged in through the IDE, and this is just proof that we actually uh, did after we signed in, we actually have, our, this is our, basically our data spread out for our dummy data, but we were actually able to connect and, and integrate with the, with the actual database. So moving forward, this is our overview for the project. So what we got done was all right in uh, January, was the June, February 6th, we got all of that foundation built, and we're just moving on now to getting more concrete stuff like finishing our login and the UI team will be working on finishing up the UI. Database needs to be uh, filled with more data. And we also need that uh, continuous integration is gonna work on an API to actually communicate the database with the rest of the web application. Uh, this is finally just yeah. the... So we actually have a demo for you. We got a, uh, a thing set up here with our Spring security. So you can actually see a login happen on an actual, on an actual location. So what's happening right now is, right now it says click here to see a greeting, but um, unless you're authenticated, you're not allowed to see the greeting. So um, clicking on it, it'll ask us to log in, but just for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna have the basic login, sign in, and we're able to see the user. And uh, so now we can see the greeting. Uh, we can obviously sign out, but it keeps track of uh, whether we've logged in or not, because going back, I can still click on it and it doesn't ask me anymore, but if I sign out, um, if we go back, um, it'll ask me to do it again. So we have the login, we have maintaining <coughs> state as well on the web, up, web application. He's talking about what's next. So uh, more generally, what's coming up next for our project is uh, getting this all together in one place. So having this be launched as a web app. And uh, that's really dependent on our meeting tomorrow with Fredera. Um, so I mean, besides just being able to log in, uh, the next main goal is, is the sign up functionality. Being able to register a new user and uh, be able to have a profile for every user that's on the site. And that's us moving forward.